Hello, I am the Silver Wheel Witch. Welcome to my channel. I am here today to do an unboxing of the Witch's Brutes box for November of 2021. The box does come in this package like this. The label states that it is from W Moon Shop. So for anyone who wants the packaging to be discreet, that is how it appears when you receive it. Let me go ahead and get this open so we can jump right into it and take a look. And here you have it, the Witch's Roots box. And get that open and see what we have inside. Make sure you guys can see that. There we go. Oops. Okay, so this would be the paperwork that goes with the box. I will just take a quick peek at what the theme of the box is, and then we will read it afterwards. The Tarot Collection. Sounds exciting. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, we have a really nice piece of artwork here that has the minor arcana on it. If I can get that to focus for you. Okay, that is beautiful. And we have another piece of artwork that has some gorgeous images on it for the major arcana. Isn't that just stunning? That is beautiful. Okay. And looks like we have yet another. Oh, look at that. Right off the bat when I pulled this out. Looks like we have a tarot deck in there. Dandelion. Sorry, I got sidetracked by the exciting items in the box. So dandelion looks like the herb for the month. So in the roots boxes, they always include a herb, usually with some artwork as well and um, various other items that go along with it. So let's go ahead and just take this. Let's see what this is. Everyday Witch Tarot, Mini Tarot by Deborah Blake and the artwork is by Elizabeth Alba. And that looks like a great mini deck. I think once we finish opening everything up, I will um, open this and pull out a few cards so you guys can see what it looks like. And of course we have our herb here, Wild Endive, which is dandelion. A good amount there for our witchy cabinets some of that out and looks like we have an oil Let's see what the oil says ooh tarot oil very cool let's show that to you guys and I don't know if I can I don't know if the lighting's right to show you guys the herbs in there but there's some good amount of herbs in there see how it smells. Oh, it's very gentle and sweet. Very nice scent. Yes, very sweet smelling. Go ahead and put that down. Okay. And a candle. Go ahead and peel off some of the paper so you guys can see what it looks like. And it is a beautiful hand rolled beeswax candle. We got a purple one this month. It's got a great beeswax smell. Okay. We have some incense sticks. Dark nights. Hmm. I don't know 
what's in there, but I want to say it almost smells jasmine-y. Very floral, very floral scent. Very nice smelling. Okay, maybe it'll tell us on the paperwork. We'll see. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. And it looks like we have a gemstone here. Let's open this up and see what we got. I want to say that that's got a faint purple color to it. So that is probably just a really light amethyst. It's a very pretty stone. Very nice size piece for a tumbled stone. Okay. And that's what we have. Okay. So let me go ahead and get that out of the way. And let's go ahead and read through the information here. So the first items we have here are the dandelion leaf and the artwork for it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put both of those up here for you to see. Okay. Searching for answers and guidance throughout our journey can be a very important part of our psychic development in overall well-being. well-being. As we continue to work with divinatory tools throughout the years, we become more perceptive to our surroundings, searching for symbols and clues that may represent something meaningful to us and at a very special moment in time. These practices allow us to remain open-minded, washing away the stagnant crust of judgment and absolute sureness. It is during times of searching that we are able to keep our hearts and mind firing on all cylinders. The ancient words of the wise come from a variety, sorry, the ancient words of the wise come from a view of the entire picture, untethered from media, mediocre negative thoughts and emotions. Know that the answers you seek are just beyond your field of view. In this very special collection, we work with wonderful tools to help refine our psychic sight and internal compass. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing ritual. The magical items in this box are as follows. Dandelion leaf, wild endive, Taraxicum officinal, native to Eurasia and North America, dandelion leaf or wild endive can be easily seen among fields of grass stretching above with white and yellow sprouts of color. The dandelion is commonly recognized as the iconic flower plucked from the ground and wished upon before blowing on the seed heads. Dandelions have been found in much of recorded history as an herbal remedy and source of food and has even been thought to have evolved over 30 million years ago. Its long trek to Americas was eventually made upon the Mayflower. The dandelion was once referred to as the French dentillon or lion's tooth, referring to its jagged and tooth-like leaves. In medieval times, it was said that if you place the budding yellow flower of a dandelion flower, under your chin and your skin becomes yellow, you will obtain prosperity and abundance throughout the remaining years of your life. In other stories of folklore, dandelion was commonly used within herbal teas blends to enhance psychic abilities. It is said that dandelion leaf helps one in summoning spirits, 
purification and banishing rituals. This very special flower is well known for its ability to adapt to its environment and spread easily. This dandelion leaf within your divinatory incense blends, include this dandelion leaf within your divinatory incense blends and herbal creations to help open your third eye and, intu and intuitive perspective. As you work with dandelion leaf to bolster your divinatory practices, take the time to familiarize yourself with its unique energies and qualities. The elemental connection is air, planetary associ association is Jupiter, and the gender is masculine, included for ritual use only. The dandelion herbal grimoire artwork, we have partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor dandelion. Add this beautiful artwork to your book of shadows, herbal grimoire, or place on your altar for display. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. Okay, so that was our first two items. The dandelion root and the beautiful artwork. The next item we have is the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah Blake. And the artwork is by Elizabeth Alba. Deborah Blake is an award-winning author, jewelry maker, tarot reader, and energy healer. The talented Elizabeth Alba is an illustrator of fantasy art, children's books, maps, and artists for the Everyday Witch Tarot. This beautiful, beautifully created mini tarot deck is a great addition to your traveling bag or simply using on the go. These cards can also easily be used to create larger spreads on smaller surfaces. Take your time connecting with these cards before you delve into the meaning of each. We believe it is important for you to cultivate your own emotions and thoughts regarding the symbolism on each card. We cleanse our cards before and after readings and meditations. If you are new to tarot, take your time. Tarot is a lifelong journey and is not meant to be understood right away. Become comfortable with your cards as you delve into the personal meanings of each. Some prefer to not have others touch or handle their cards as to not transfer another's energies. Included in this collection is reference artwork created exclusively for this very collection, providing key points and words. Okay. And there we have that. Again, I will open that up in just a minute once we finish going through the information. And next we have our major and minor artwork. Very nice that they included these. They are gorgeous. Let's see if I can put that up there for you. There we go. Okay, let's see what it has to say here. The Tarot Major and Minor Arcana Book of Shadows artwork created to be brief reference guides. These wonderful prints provide basic keywords for each card in the tarot. Add this beautiful artwork to your Book of Shadows or place near your tarot deck for reference. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. And we also have our tumbled stone, which it is an amethyst. Okay, it's got a really nice soft purple. So in case you don't know, make sure when you have amethyst to keep them out of the sunlight because that will um, fade them more. Some stones are naturally a, a lighter color and some are much darker. This looks like a beautiful, naturally just light colored amethyst so I want to make sure to keep it out of the sun so that it doesn't um, 
and get fainter in color. Tumbled Amethyst Crystal. Prized for thousands of years for its beauty and ambient energies, amethyst is one of the most well-known crystals used in modern practices. In addition to being known as a royal stone, the Greeks believed that amethyst would prevent anger and confrontation between two frustrated parties. Although a protective stone, amethyst is a wonderful purifier. For divinatory practices, take the time to resonate or meditate with the amethyst stone included within this collection to clear your mind of any clutter that may hold you back from connection, from connecting with the messages you receive. Very nice. And we also have our purple candle. Stay. There we go. Divine Connection Mini Spell Candle. We have hand rolled this Divine Connection Mini Spell Candle with the intention of bringing you closer to realization and prophecy. As you allow the flame to dance before you, take the time to cleanse your sacred space and thoughts before delving into deeper ritual. Okay. These down here. Let me grab the oil. There we go. Next is the tarot oil. Tarot magical anointing oil. This tarot magical anointing oil has been created with the intention of enhancing the magic that magic and messages you receive from the tarot. Keep this oil close to your cards to have these energies ready for use. We have enchanted this magical anointing oil with jasmine, almond, cherry, sandalwood, and patchouli oils, and have included wild cherry bark, blue lotus, and jasmine herbs as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lumerian quartz said to personify oneness into your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our The Seer magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this oil. Be careful when applying to skin. The base of this oil is sunflower oil. Some might be more sensitive than others when in contact with skin external use only. And last but not least, we have our Dark Nights incense. And again, this incense smells, to me it smells kind of like jasmine. It's got a very floral scent, so we'll see what it says here. Dark Nights ritual incense sticks. These fragrant ritual incense sticks were placed within this collection to bring calm and relaxing energies into your space so that you can focus on your task ahead without intrusion. As you allow the smoke from, the, from this incense to waft throughout your space, take a deep and intentional breath. We have curated this box with the intention of enhancing the magic that flows through your life. Allow the synchronicities and sign from your guides to manifest through the sacred objects, objects placed inside this collection. We truly hope that these tools will bring you closer to the messages that you are so desperately trying to find their way, that are so desperately trying to find their way to you. Blessed be the witch's roots, the tarot collection, November 2021 by G. Ebus. Very nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the tarot deck. Okay, let me see if I can get this open. Always love getting a new tarot deck. Let's see, so it is a tuck box. And of course, 
they've got it inside more plastic. That's okay, we'll just take it off. Now it doesn't look like it comes with any um, booklet at all. It's just the cards in this mini deck. So it's very nice that they have included the artwork. Uh, so anyone who is getting this deck and doesn't really know the tarot very well or hasn't worked with it before, um, you'll be able to get an idea of the general meanings. Let me get my knife here because this plastic just does not want to. Be careful with that. There we go. Didn't want to open. Okay. Oh, those are nice. So they're borderless. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you all. Okay, so the cards, I don't know if you can see about the size of my hand. Um, hands are maybe medium size. I guess that's not a really good way there to tell how big they are. I'll hold them up to the bottle of oil. How about that? There we go. So you can kind of get a sense of what size they are. They are a thin cardstock, but they're small, so it's really not a big deal. Now let's go through and I will show you some of the cards. We won't do a full flip through, but I want to show you guys some of them. So that's the fool. Love that. Hands up, feet out, flying on the broom over the cliff. That's great. We have the magician. Let's try to get these to focus for you guys. Do. Oh, that's nice. The Hierophant. These are great cards. I like the symbolism on them. And let's see. We have Justice. Okay. The Hanged Man. So I'll do a full flip through of these on my channel here, but let me just find a couple more cards for you guys. The star, isn't that beautiful? Okay. Let's see, how about Six of Swords? Find one of the cups. Three of cups. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love little kitties in the background. And the fish. That is nice. Let's see what else we have. Wands. Two of wands. It's got kitties in it too. Okay. I like the artwork in this deck. How about a pentacles? Let's do seven of pentacles. So, let's see if I can get that to focus for you guys. There we go. Okay. Queen of pentacles. And it looks like it's got a Everyday Witch Tarot marketing card in there. And Everyday Witch Tarot, again, another um, copyrights card in there. So let's pull those out. We see how these shuffle. Okay, they shuffle really nicely overhand. Nice small size. They shuffle very smoothly. Let's see another card. How about Four of Pentacles? Here we go. Let's see how they riffle shuffle. I don't do a true full riffle shuffle, I kind of do it very lightly. 
because I don't want to damage my cards, but I do like the mix they get. And they actually do riffle shuffle very nice. Very small, so it's a little awkward. Probably nicer overhand, but one more card. What do we have? Ace of Wands. If I can get that to focus, they don't want to focus. There you go. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that unboxing of the Witch's Roots, November 2021. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.